People fell in love with him. People who were attached to superficial levels, to the forms and faces and sounds, fell in love with the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam when they met him. They said that he was more beautiful than the full moon. They described him. One of the Sahaba, Al-Bara ibn Azib, was watching the full moon on uh, a night when the, full, when the moon was full and looking at Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi He said, Rasulullah, the Messenger of Allah, was more beautiful than the full moon. And the full moon is an example for all lovers to describe, to describe their beloved ones. The hair of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam, its colors, its length, whether he dyed his hair or not, whether there were any gray hair, there were some, on what sides of his head, and uh, how many, how much gray hair, when did it grow, all of a sudden or gradually, did he have any braids of his hair, did he let them behind or in the front? Did he part his hair? Did he apply oil on his hair? The beard, how thick it was, how tall it was. Was there any gray hair? Where? How many hairs were there? And uh, the hair of his eyebrows, his eyebrows, how thick did they meet in the middle? or not, his eyelashes, how tall, the color, then his forehead, the size of it, the color, his face, his head, the size of his head, the shape of his head, the shape of his face, his eyes, the shape of his eyes, the color of his eyes, his pupils, then his nose, the shape of his nose, the color of his nose, how high his nose was, his lips, his mouth, the size, the thickness or thinness of his lips, his teeth, the earlobes, the ears, all recorded, documented in details. There's no one single human being of whom we have so much detailed description. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is described to us in detail. All you need is to go and read his description. People get attached to movie stars, to superstars now. One of the most important probably principles or conditions of appearing on TV is to have a handsome face, a beautiful face. People are attached to images. If people are attached to images and are superficial and they just get around the forms, then they must love Rasulullah and find every reason to love the Messenger of Allah because he was the most beautiful and handsome human being on the face of the earth ever to be uh, existed, ever to exist in the past and ever to be in the future. If you are deeper in knowledge, in wisdom, and you love for other reasons, then you must love people for their wisdom, for their intellectual abilities for their understanding, for their knowledge, for their teachings, for the principles, for the morals and ethics they present, then you must love Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam because no one was smarter or more intelligent than Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. No one presented better guidance than Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. People are busy around the world and have been busy for centuries just elaborating on the wisdom that he presented, the miracles in his words on a scientific level, in astronomy, in medicine, in astrology, in astronomy, in medicine, and in geometry, in zoology, in botanica, in every level, in his statements, people are still deciphering his wisdom. No one on the face of the earth presented such a complete system, legal system, Sharia that adheres, that addresses every corner of our life and meets every need of the human beings as Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa did. 
Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam took care even of the small details. You know now, if you sit at a table and you eat, especially if you belong to an upper class or if you work in the diplomatic uh, arena, you must know the rules of etiquette. So if you eat, for example, according to the rules of etiquette in the West here, you shouldn't use your uh, hands. You should use knives and forks and uh, go around even when you try to peel uh, an orange, for example, you have to hold it in a fork and then peel it with a knife. <laughs> have you tried this before? Okay, they have rules. If you're eating olives and you want to take out the seeds, you want to take the seeds out of your mouth, what do you do? According to the rules of etiquette in the West here, you lift up the fork to your mouth. Then you cover your mouth with the other hand. Then you push the seed out of your mouth to the fork, top of the fork. Then you put the fork down and you put the seed in a special plate. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam taught us how to take out the seeds out of our mouths 14 centuries back in a very healthy, hygienic, elegant way. You're eating dates or olives, you're using your hands. And this is very healthy. The healthiest way to eat is by using hands. Although you may use knives, forks, spoons, there's nothing wrong with using this, just using the right hands. The left hand may support the right hand if you're eating two different things. There's no harm. The major hand you use for eating is the right hand. So you want to take the seed out. If you take it with your two fingers, the inside of your two fingers, the index finger and the, uh, uh, the index finger and the uh, thumb, then your, the inside parts of your fingers will be uh, contaminated by your saliva. And then you're going to pick up another piece of fruit, for example, another piece of food, or leave it, then this would be infectious, would cause infection to others. Or at least people detest eating something you touched with your saliva. So how to avoid this? This is the crucial point. Because you need to take out the seed of your mouth and then put it and pick up something different. So the Prophet Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi wa Alaihi Wasallam as a perfect man, the most elegant man, the most handsome human being on the face of the earth, taught the Sahaba Radiallahu Ta'ala Anhum as Imam Suyuti quotes from Sunan al-Imam al-Bayhaqi in a hadith that you lift your middle finger and index finger up to your mouth. The upper part of your fingers is now parallel to your mouth. You push the seed out of your mouth on the top of your two fingers, then take it down and put it in a separate plate. You don't put the seed in the same plate of the fruits, for example, because again, the seed is contaminated with your saliva. So you put it in a separate plate. Can you see how the Prophet Sallallahu is perfect teaching his community, teaching mankind, teaching humanity, Every detail they need for their lives. Many people think that the life of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam 14 centuries back was primitive. And Muslims were nomads. Now there was some civilization. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was the most elegant human being on the face of the earth. And his sunnahs or lifestyle, if you put it in modern words, fits for every time. For every country, for every place, for all peoples. This is why he's perfect sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam on that intellectual level. And examples are countless. I'm giving you here small detail comparing just the western approach to the prophetic approach. On a small detail of the rules of etiquette at a table.